Hello everyone, Doran here again and today I'm going to be teaching you kind of like a, an unusual way to sound design. So the concept is pretty simple. This is a feature that's been included since FL 20.9.2 I believe? Or I don't exactly remember but all I know is it's a very recent feature where you can select points. When they announced that, I immediately thought like that's a game changer, like especially with Wave Shaper because you get these weird artifacts that you don't normally get out of uh, Wave Shapers because you couldn't do that before. Before you could only like only move one point, but now you can move multiple points and like affect them individually like so in real time. And you know what that means? Resampling coolness. Being able to capture the sounds while it's playing, being affected in such a way is just pretty cool. And it's and it's not only in Wave Shaper, like you can also do it with automations, like with the automation editor, where you can do this. And let's say you have a sound playing, you can like affect the sound in real time. Like you can edit, well, it's kind of buggy, but you can, kind of like change the automation in real time and you can loop the section and you can keep editing and do stuff while recording all of that and i think as far as i know it's an fl studio only thing like you can only do that with the stuck stuff like you can only do that in stuck stuff like vocodex or citrus or anything really, as far as I know, but feel free to correct me if I'm wrong.
Now with this one I'm going to be a little special where I'm going to take an EQ and uh, use a low pass filter and then automate its cutoff and then add a wave shaper after that which does like bit crushy kind of stuff and then an OTT to kind of like equal everything out. And then I'm going to open the automation editor. I'm going to grab a sound. And then I'm going to play it. Actually, I'm going to do something first. I'm going to stretch this automation like a lot, a lot. Now, what I'm going to do is play the sound. <laughs> And now check this playhead right here. You see when the automation is interacting with the audio in a very special way in real time. Like you can hear the low pass doing its thing. And that's pretty much it. And remember that it's literally just a low pass filter. Just think about the possibilities that you can achieve there. This is just a low pass filter. You can do it on pretty much any parameter. And remember, we started from this. Now, by processing a sound with uh, that method over and over again, you can end up with some really wild results. Sounds like these that you can use for textures or whatever. As always, thank you for watching. Consider liking the video if it inspired you. And also, you can subscribe to my channel if you really feel like it. But yeah, I'll see you later. Bye bye.